and there are also uh, high-speed uh, uh, magneto leviton train tunnels. Yes, this lady over here. Stand up and speak up, please. Uh, what, what levels of military personnel know about this? Uh, most of the levels of military know about this, uh, especially the higher levels, um, officer, higher officer levels. Uh, the enlisted, I'm sure, don't, or are basically kept in the dark like we are, end quote, we are. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this fellow right here with the hat, hat on. Well, there's 131 of them in the, uh, uh, in the United States, uh, 127 of them in the lower 48. Um, there's some in Canada, I'm not counting those. There's some in northern Mexico, I'm not counting those either. Um, they average about four and a quarter cubic miles hollowed out underground, an average depth of 5,700 feet underground. Uh, average cost 17 to 31 billion dollars each. Um, they employ anywhere from 1,800 to 10,000 people. Um, and there's some very large ones now being built in um, Sweden, one of which is repudiated to be 30 cubic miles. It will take five years to build that one at a cost of about two trillion dollars. And that's all being supplied by the United Nations. Yes. Anybody over here? No. This uh, gentleman. Speak up, please. Okay. Uh, you want to know exact locations of all these? Well, for where all of your Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force bases are, there. Uh, with all the present, not the ones closed down. And by the way, the closed down bases are now being used uh, for gasoline storage and uh, equipment storage and these kind of things. So they're not really uh, closed down yet. Boot camps, in quote, boot camps and all this kind of stuff. Uh, So-called prisoner camps and these kind of things. Uh, right now our police, for instance, are uh, training, uh, are being trained by uh, the Air Force and the Army Intelligence in uh, in martial law research, as they call it, how dare they call that, that by that name? So where these are, they are where every one of these strategic bases are now in Colorado is uh, in in around Denver. There's three of them, and they're fairly small. Some of these bases are only maybe two to three thousand feet uh, in depth. Uh, some of them are, uh, were built a long time ago, back go. Oh, 35, 40 years ago, and they're only maybe 500 feet, um, and they're mostly for equipment storage. Um, you know, Denver, and then there's uh, Fort Collins. Uh, there's also uh, Colorado Springs area has a number of them. By the way, Colorado Springs is kind of a famous area. Nikola Tesla's laboratories were in Colorado Springs, and uh, uh, need I say more? I'll leave that up to uh, Al Bielik. Uh, as far as uh, Nellis Air Force Base, there's nine uh, underground mountain bases in Nellis Air Force Base. That's in Nevada. It's uh, north of Las Vegas. Um, uh, there's going to be a, a UFO show and conference in Mesquite here later on this month, and that's up very close to, in quote, Area 51. Um, that whole area, by the way, the state of Nevada is 81% uh, 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 in quote uh, managed or owned by the federal government. Uh, land is either restricted or run by the federal government. That's why they have, there's uh, groups uh, rising as we speak, uh, dealing with the problem uh, very vociferously. And uh, uh, senators are now getting involved. So evidently, uh, waking up is occurring. Yes, this gentleman over here. Speak up, please. Okay. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, the gentleman asked, are these tunnels connected to large caverns? Yes, these large bases are basically like this, uh, like this uh, 
uh, Colosseum. Everything's underground. Everything's a city underground. Uh, most most of these uh, bases have uh, are both have military bases, and they have uh, all the accoutrements of life. Remember, each one of these costs quite a bundle of dough, and and uh, some of it in our tax money, but most of it in clandestine uh, uh, approaches, and that's uh, definitely undermining the country. Yes. Well, some of them uh, have a difficulty in understanding our language. It's too slow to them. Uh, uh, if you've heard whale songs or bird chirpings at high speed, it's about what these aliens sound like audibly to us. So they do, it's a bunch of gibberish. Yes, they've slowly actually broken down. There's 11 prototypes or 11 civilizations of aliens visiting this planet uh, all the time all of which are known by the U.S. military, uh, nine of which uh, are not very good in data. They're pretty bad news, uh, two of which are benevolent, uh, but the benevolent ones have supposedly left. Uh, they have their own little uh, war of uh, sorts, uh, especially the Pleiadesian uh, 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 groups and whatnot like that, of which Val Thor was uh, repudiated to be a, a Venusian, but uh, uh, other people were alert. He looks more like a, a Pleiadesian. He looks normal human, except he's got six fingers and toes. He's got a one lump, oversized lung. He's got two hearts. He's got all kinds of weird stuff. Bones are bigger. Yep. Uh, the man asked, do I tie in the alien agenda to the New World Order? Yes, sir, 100%. Uh, I can elaborate briefly. Uh, uh, the New World Order right now uh, basically is uh, dismantling countries, uh, uh, governments, uh, telling governments not to war with each other anymore, basically. So that uh, looks good on the outside. Uh, they're taking their orders directly from the aliens uh, who have got their own timetable. They want the One World Order because they want the planet for themselves. Uh, of course, you've often heard of the term Global 2000, and that's a supposed sinister plot, or has been a group of sinister plots to produce uh, uh, biological weaponry to uh, uh, reduce or thin out the so-called ethnic cleanse of the population of the planet by five-sixths, or uh, roughly five of six billion people enslaving the rest uh, uh, to work willy-nilly with the so-called uh, people of the New World Order. Now, the, uh, another peculiar thing is uh, uh, the alien agenda is not really well believed nor understood by a lot of these one-worlders. They don't believe it. They think they've been singled out for uh, their own end of glory, and what they don't know is they're just another human being, and uh, according to the uh, negative or bad aliens, uh, they're just another, uh, 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 we're considered bags of food to them. They don't uh, eat us uh, like a, we think of a cannibal eating uh, a hunk of meat, but they use our uh, glandular secretions as uh, part of their food base, our blood and our, our, uh, our glandular secretions like adrenal chrome and other kinds of things like this. And uh, in fact, have been uh, the Atlanta for, uh, Center for Disease Control has uh, figured out ways that we can combat this and all this kind of thing like that. It might be where these new designer diseases like AIDS and Ebola and Hantavirus and all these kinds of things have come up out of nowhere, and these diseases, in quote, uh, almost have a mind of their own. Yes, this lady here. Okay, lady asked, uh, is the tunnel building uh, uh, having a, uh, an effect with uh, earthquakes? Uh, uh, yes, it could very easily be, although uh, uh, got to remember uh, uh, a lot of these underground um, uh, bases are, uh, are constantly being repaired, and so a lot of people have to be hired. Uh, as far as uh, the U.S. government, the uh, second part of her question was, uh, uh, is the U.S. government modifying our weather? Yes, that's an affirmative. Um, and we have uh, the U.S. government's been working with the Russians 
for at least since 1972 and maybe as early as 1966 on weather.